And there is also an important by-election this week in Ontario. It's to fill the riding held for years by Ernie Eves, the former provincial finance minister. Six people are in the running, including one colorful candidate who's made it into the world record books. But as Daryl McIntyre explains, it's for all the wrong reasons. In the Muskokas, Ontario's cottage country, there's a by-election coming up. And around here, folks pay pretty close attention to their politics and their politicians. I can tell you the PC candidate, which is uh, Norm Miller, and uh, I guess Evelyn Brown is liberal, and Joanne Burry, I believe, is NDP. But, but how about independent John Jermel? I, don't, I haven't heard of him, I'm sorry. I don't know a thing about it. Da -da 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 -da. Maybe that's because candidate Jermel does his campaigning 400 kilometers away in Ottawa. And although he's run in 52 elections before, all he's ever won is a place in the Guinness Book of Records as the world's biggest political loser. A whole group but Jermel says he only loses because people don't vote on the issues. And what they do is they say, who's got the most signs? I want to vote for the winner. And then near the end of the election, the guy with the most signs, they pick him. And if he wins, they go, I voted for the winner. Whatever the reason, it isn't for lack of trying, whether he's running for mayor of Ottawa. In federal politics, you know, you're dealing with protecting people's rights. Well, I'm sorry, I trust you to take care of my garbage, but I don't trust you to take care of my rights. Or a seat in the House of Commons. Get off this page. I am going to put you under it. But in the Muskokas, his political opponents think John Termel's about to lose election number 53. His concern or his understanding of our issues uh, was simply not there. There are so many people who need help in this riding, and this guy's coming in and just making a mockery. I, I, don't, I don't take him seriously at all. I, he's just kind of a nuisance, really, to be honest. But Jermell insists he is a serious candidate with a serious mission. To restructure the world's financial architecture with a unilex, interest-free, time-based currency. Whether that'll get him elected in Muskoka is another story. Daryl McIntyre, CBC News, Huntsville, Ontario.